During the reign of Vlad III, he had conducted numerous types of torture for almost any type of cause he saw fit as a crime or a threat to his rule. Some of his methods of torture were burning, skinning, mutilation, cutting off of noses and ears, and even exposure to wild animals. His most favorite and famous type of torture was impalement, which involved having two horses pull either side of your legs, while an oiled spike was to drive through your body until the tip of the spike was to protrude from your mouth. It was this type of punishment that drove away the forces of the Ottoman Empire. From the unforgettable horror of one of Vlad's works, known in history as the Forest of the Impaled. I guess I can say so. I am Vlad the Third, Prince of Alcio, the Conqueror of Romania. No, I could say I didn't have a very good childhood, for the following reasons. In 1431, I was born. I was born as the Prince of Valchia of my kingdom in 36. In 1442, I was captured by Sulaim Mutra II and I was kidnapped along with my younger brother. I was released in 1448. And during that time, the, the nobles, the boyars, took over my kingdom. They assassinated my father and my older brother, and I vowed vengeance against them, and I took power in 1456. Ah, so you asked me about my legacy. Well, from what I see, one is from torture. I use torture for many ways. One, to strike fear into the enemy's hearts. Two, to promote my rule and to show that I am the master of the power, and they're mainly for a hobby of mine. Another legacy which you might be more common with was that I was the inspiration for a novel which is quite popular these days known as Dracula, in which they promote my character as Vlad, as this blood-sucking beast known as Dracula, the son of the dragon. From what I see from my torture, my torture has influenced this character of a blood-sucking beast. I think some of my main accomplishments in my lifetime was that I held back the Ottoman Empire through the clever use of my torture. And also, that I promoted a strict law system in which all the citizens of my reign obeyed me. And I think that is my greatest accomplishment. And also the creative uses of my torture itself. Have you seen my impale, my forest of the impale? It is quite a remarkable sight, but I don't recommend it for the faint of heart. Oh, a hobby of mine, you see. Well, I think the best hobby I had in my lifetime was mm, torture. I used torture for many ways, and many different methods as well. I would cut off the nose of the enemy, send them off back to the rulers to warn them off. But I think the most recognizable form of torture that I had was impaling itself. It, impaling itself was sticking a spear through one's body. And I used impaling for many ways. To, of course, um, strike fear and also promote my rule. And I think that was kind of unique as my image. I am Dracula.